Hey everybody, happy Memorial Day. Happy day 16 of our happiness challenge. Uh, it's Monday night and I am getting ready to go to my mom's. Uh, ever since my dad died, it's been over a year, she's not spent a night alone. So this is the benefit to having seven children. <laughs> so one night a week, one of us goes and spends the night with her and she's happy. And, you know, being one of seven, I didn't get that much time when I was growing up with her. So I like the time. And she's teaching the whole family how to play a card game called Spite and Malice tonight. Anyways, uh, um, I hear people have been teasing me for my Hollister shirts, but they're the softest cotton on the planet and I don't get a kickback. Anyways, in the happiness challenge today, I hope you're all in the happiness challenge. We are over 30,000 members. So after the pandemic, a whole lot of people need to be happier, but Today's lesson was on give your mind a name. And it's based on the concept of gaining psychological distance from the noise in your head. And I tell this great story about Hermie and I named my mind after my pet raccoon. When I was 16, I went to the pet store to get my dog. I had a German shepherd named Jason who I adored. I went to get him a new collar and a leash and this little baby raccoon climbed up the back of my jeans, climbed up my back all the way to my shoulders and started playing with my hair when I actually had hair. And from that moment on, she and I were in love. But like my mind, Hermie, so this is Hermie, was a troublemaker. And so I give my mind the name Hermie. And when my mind starts giving me trouble, I'm like, I'm going to put you in the cage. She slept in a cage. Or what I used to do when Hermie would get out of sorts, I would pet her and put her on her back and tickle her. And she loved that. And so I just check in with Hermie periodically, see how she's doing. And I treat Hermie, my mind, with love, with respect, but I'm always firm and kind with her. And you know, being a psychiatrist for 40 years, I've seen so many patients, the most abusive person in their lives is themselves. It's their mind that they never learned how to train, how to manage. Now, much easier um, to manage your mind when your brain is healthy. And so you'll notice in the challenge we're doing, it's based on seven principles. And the first four are about brain health. Know your brain type, because happiness is different for everyone. Optimize the physical functioning of your brain. Ask every day, is this good for your brain or bad for it? Three, nourish your brain. What are the right supplements to take? Four, feed your brain. Do you love foods that love you back? Five, master your mind and gain psychological distance from the noise in your head. Tomorrow, we're also gonna work on master your mind. I'm gonna teach you how to interrupt unnecessary, unhappy moments. Uh, learn this technique from my friend, Joseph McClendon III. Um, this is so important. We are in an age where depression has just skyrocketed. It was at epidemic levels before the pandemic. Um, 
but the pandemic obviously made everything worse. So what I want you to do today, give your mind a name. I was having dinner with one of my friends who's a police officer who experienced a fair amount of trauma. And as we were talking about this, he remembered his parrot. And so he gave his mind the name of his parrot because his parrot would learn something and then he'd just say it over and over and over again, like your mind does, sort of like a vinyl record with the scratch in it. But you don't have to let it be that way. So when he notices his mind circling, he separates from it and doesn't have to pay attention to it. You get to choose. I hope this is helpful. I hope you have a spectacular weekend. I know it's almost over, but we're heading into June and summer, and hopefully with more sunlight, we're gonna have more happiness. And if you do the happiness challenge, people who did the happiness challenge just 10 days, 15% happier, um, 10% mentally sharper. You can do this. 30dayhappinesschallenge.com. All right, everybody. See you soon.